Hi, my name is Dan. I live in an area where the water is kind of hard, which is to say the water has a lot of minerals in it. It's the kind of water where if you wash your car and you don't dry it off real quickly after you rinse the, the soap off, as the water evaporates, it leaves little spots on the car. That's the minerals that it leaves behind. And here the, the water has a lot of minerals in it, which is good. It makes for good drinking water. Uh, but I've been using charcoal water filters to try to make the water taste a little better for things like coffee and tea and, and cooking. Uh, but I have found that these charcoal water filters, at least the pure brand, which is what I've been using, seems to add more contaminants to the water than it takes out. Or maybe I should qualify that. It, I've been finding that the charcoal water filter is adding something to the water. It's, it may be taking something out, but it's adding something back in. Because using a little water checker device that, that tests for particulate matter in the water uh, shows a higher number, a higher reading from the water coming through the filter than it does from water coming from directly from the tap. Let's take a look. Okay, here we are. Now we're going to be testing the water with, with this simple little device. It's called a water checker. These are easily available on the internet. It's a very simple little device. It has a little well that you fill with water and two little contacts down at the bottom of the well. And when you press the go button, those contacts measure the resistance in the water, which gives you a reading of the total dissolved solids, or TDSs. So um, this, is our, uh, this is our pure water filter here. And uh, the instructions say that uh, when you install a new filter, you should run, you run the water through it for five or six minutes to kind of clean the garbage out of it. And I've done that. In fact, this has been on my faucet. This has been in use now for a couple of weeks. Uh, so it should be well broken in. Uh, the instructions also say that uh, the, uh, the, the slower the water goes through the filter, the, the, the better the filter is able to do its job. So we just want a light stream of water coming from the tap. We'll try the water coming from the tap first. So let's get a light stream of water coming out. Here we have, there we go, we have a light, very light stream of water. And we're going to use our little water checker. We're going to fill it up with water, fill the well. Press the go button. And when it beeps, it means it's given a reading. I just got my beep. And we have a reading here. I don't know if you can see it, but the reading is 340. Just for good measure, we will take a second reading. Rinse the well out, fill it back up with water again. Press the go button. Wait for the beep. There it is. The beep indicates it's done its job. And I have a reading here of, once again, 340 is the reading. Now we'll flip the valve here and run the water through the, uh, through the water filter. This particular model has a little light that blinks green if the filter is good. And it did blink green. So we want to let the water run through the filter for uh, about five seconds, as per the instructions that come with the filter. I think we would all agree that that's been more than five seconds. So we will now fill the well with water from the filter, press the go button, and wait for a reading. There's my little beep, and we get our reading, and the reading here is 350. That's actually pretty good. Usually the margin is much wider than that. Let's take a second reading, rinse the well, fill the well up with water, press the go button. And we've got our reading, and the reading this time, indeed, the reading has gone up to 360. Just for good measure, we will take a third reading, just for consistency purposes. Press the go button. There's my little beep. It's finished reading, and the reading is once again 360. So, and just for good measure, we'll put it back to the tap. We've got a wa the water coming out of the tap. Once again, let's rinse the well. Fill the well, hit the go button, wait for a reading. There's our reading, and the reading is once again 340. So, here we see that apparently as the water passes through the filter, the filter is adding something to the water that's causing a higher reading on the water checker. Draw your own conclusions, but uh, I'm going to stop using my filter until I get some answers.